Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about Noragami volume 14. We're getting up in these volumes, aren't we? This is gonna be a full spoiler talk feels video, so if you haven't not read it yet, you should not watch this video. So, without, you know, pooping our pants, let's just go right into it. Volume 14 of Noragami was pretty fun, like all the Noragami volumes are fun, but it's probably not my favorite volume, like I enjoyed of course everything that happened, I don't have anything bad to say, I'm just saying that I know I have enjoyed more volumes more than I enjoyed this one. We are seeing Hiri in the aftermath of what happened in the last uh, volume with the hospital going all crazy and stuff. And then Yato who decides that Hiri is best off without him and then he starts ignoring her. Again? Hasn't it happened before? I'm sort of like, can they stop like trying to, you know, letting each other go and just realize that they can't live without each other? Yuki is however still sending letters to Hiri uh, behind Yato's back and Yato is like not handling life without Hiri so well. He goes around talking about her a lot and he's like, I miss her really cute. And then they get this call from this guy who needs help with his spirit inside this painting and then they like help with that. And then it turns out that this guy is really here with his brother and then the guy calls again and uh, he needs help getting toilet paper and he is at his grandma's house and then here he walks in and she's like Yato what the heck are you doing here? And that was just really funny. And then grandma she can see Yato and Yuki and she sort of freaks out and now like uh, Hiro's brother could also see them, so it turns out that in the family it runs this thing that's called the sight and I just couldn't stop thinking about shadow hunters and Jace being like you you have the sight <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just hilarious and uh, I just couldn't stop thinking about it because it's basically the same thing which is of course fine and then it shows itself that they can see sort of thing in the is it was it called foul shore? Yeah. And then the grandma sees this shadow outside and she's really scared and Yato explains that this is sort of like a grim reaper because she's soon gonna die. And he recommends Hiroi spending more time with her grandmother and then the whole family just moves in with the grandmother who lives in this huge house alone. And it was, it was really cute. Parallel to this story we have Bishamon who is locked in, in her room with one of her shinkies named, give me a moment, Tsugaha. I don't know how to pronounce that. Either way, Tsugaha got hurt by Nora in the last volume when they fought and it turns out that Nora can sort of, uh, what is it called, damage, you know, they have the tattoo with a name on, I'm holding my hand because Kasuma has his tattoo here and uh, they have it different places and when Nora struck that tattoo or the name it shatters and then they start to get their memories back which also turns into them like um, revealing the god's secret so everything is actually going to hell there and uh, Sugaha, sorry about the name pronouncing by the way is just having these dreams uh, which is actually her memories of her life before she became a shinky and how she died and she's not really handling it well and everything is just going straight to hell and Bishamon needs to just need to hide because she can't tell the others what's wrong because then they might start questioning what they did in her previous lives and everything would just go to hell and Cosmo is so worried and yeah and she tries to get help from Yato but he just tells her that the only thing he can do is to either release her and uh, but Bushima don't don't want to do that. Then Tsuha turns into Akiyashi phantom thingy and then Kasuma comes in and kill her and uh, I don't know Bishima was just like no no don't hurt her of course because Bishima is the best and then Kasuma kills her and uh, yeah okay so all these events was like okay like things are going down and we got to know a new secret about Nora but the last scene 
oh my god, because then they had Kasuma who comes and he says he wants to talk with Yuki and Yuki of course comes with him because he trusts him, he had like, Kasuma has like, been his teacher and then Kasuma just sort of attacks Yuki, uh, Yuki and made him stand completely still and that he have to answer all the questions he's asking and then he starts asking about Yuki's dad because he knows that Yuki knows because obviously he's out of dad because he's so mad be of what happened with Bishamon and stuff and he, he just wanted to protect Bishamon but it was really dramatic and then Yuki starts asking the questions and then he's like wait I am a blessed vessel too I can be this and then he just breaks free from the spell and Kasuma is so shocked he's like oh, my apprentice how can he do this because like you are the more powerful you are is after how sure you are about yourself and if you gonna think he's under Kasuma because Kasuma has taught him and etc he will be weaker than him uh, but he wasn't so it was really cool. Also Nora came to Yukina at the point in the manga and told him that she he can trust Kazuma and now he's like Nora was right and if Nora is right it's not a good thing okay so I don't know shit went down and then the manga just stopped on a cliffhanger again. Really really enjoyable volume, probably not my favorite volume as I said before but like Norigami is so complex and the new things comes forward all the time it's so exciting. I really really wonder later on if Yukina is gonna be affected by the god's secret and how that is gonna play out and I really really wonder how this is gonna end with Hiroi and Yato because is Hiroi gonna become his Shinki? Is Hiroi gonna grow up and leave Yato? Is Yato gonna die? Is Hiroi gonna die? I don't really know. It's like... <sighs> I can see where there is this, this is going. And that is a great feeling because when you know what's gonna happen, like, too obvious from the beginning, it's like... Eh. And I don't know. I, I, I don't know what more to say. I'm bad at discussing with myself. I don't know. That was volume 14 of Norigami. Goodbye. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Woohoo! <laughs>